one thing I just realized is you're supposed to take off the uh, the faceplate and all that stuff with it at 11, and mine was for sure at two. <laughs> Boy, we'll see. One small thing to note, Fellow does say on their website that's crucial that the dial be turned to 11 before you do the installation. So just know that I made that mistake that it was not turned to 11. <laughs> I just got this in the mail. This is Fellow's V2 Burrs for the Ode Grinder. This is the hardest thing to get over. If this is your first time coming across my channel, hi, I'm Jimmy. And if you're coming back, I like what you do with your hair. You see what happens when you subscribe here? I'm a YouTuber who notices things. Just saying. Ever since this version came out, the original model, I think the biggest complaint all around is that it doesn't grind fine enough. Yeah, the unboxing. Hey there, wondering how to install your new part for Ode? We got you covered. Look at those shiny little burrs in there. I've actually never installed new burrs. That is why I wanted to do a video of me installing it with you because I'm sure that if I make mistakes and I have questions, you might have the same questions. So this video is for you. I'm looking out for you. This faceplate just kind of pops off. We're gonna see a couple of screws in there. We're gonna wanna unscrew those and that's what's gonna take off this next chamber so that we can get to the burrs. Yeah! So this little piece in the center is holding the two burrs together. All I did was give it like a hard push and then it kind of just pops out on its own. This is what that piece looks like. Tell the people what you look like, dude. Ugh, back to my stupid face. Next little bit here, you're gonna have to kind of like work with it a little bit. Yeah, here you are. All right, when you first get a grinder like this or when you're working with coffee gear, every video you see makes it seem like, oh, it's so easy, it's just gonna it's just gonna pop right off. Just be aware, you might have to work with it a little bit. All right, so it's your boy isn't the smallest chap in the world, so uh, I'm gonna use this little, hey there, instruction manual. Oh, dude, there's this awesome 12 minute video. Hi, my name's Nick. I'm VP of Hardware and R&D at Fellow. Hey, Nick. Dude, this guy, legendary. Look at this guy. Oh, I would listen to whatever you tell me to do, Nick. Ah, ha, ha. Much smarter than me. He uses the needle nose pliers. Uh, Nick suggests using sandpaper for this auger piece right here. Oh yeah, much easier. Oh crap, crap, pliers. There it is. Nick, you're a genius. All right, so now he said we're gonna use the uh, screwdriver to get the screws off of the auger burr, which this guy is called the auger. There's <clears throat> coffee in the air. All right, once you take the screws off, Pull the old burr right off there. Nick must have stronger hands than I do. We're gonna flip the grinder on its back so that we can get the burr inside. Just so you know, they do suggest removing the screws with needle nose, pli needle nose pliers so that they don't fall in, but I live on the edge, baby. Okay, yep, there we go. Woo! Let's go, Nick. Bro, Nick is a legend. Okay, first off, he uh, he said that these are both exactly the same. So there's nothing that will mess up your installation process. Let's do it. Boom, baby. Thank you, Nick. All right, one thing that he suggests is leaving the screws a little bit loose and then wiggling it around so that it's like dead center. And then once you have it dead center, tightening all of them. All right, now just grab this piece, stick it on, align the holes. All right, there's a little spring that you wanna put inside before you install your burrs. And then we're going to align this auger. You can see that there's like a horizontal line here. You wanna align it with this horizontal line. All right, so now we just took off the screws and you wanna rotate until you hear the burrs touch. You're gonna hear a noise that kind of sounds like a ee, ee. Right there, you heard that? All right, let's make sure this still rotates. Yes. Woo! We're gonna grind some coffee through the grinder and see how it changed everything. If you're curious what coffee I'm using, I'm using this luminous coffee. It's a Colombian and it's a washed passion fruit carbonic maceration. Literally smells like passion fruit. It's amazing. All right, initial thoughts. It's way finer, oh my gosh. Dude, absolutely crazy. You can see it's way finer than it typically would be, and it's even at four. 
Yeah, overall, I'm going to do more videos. Okay, so this is a uh, future Jimmy. I realized that during that video, I didn't give any thoughts of what the coffee tasted like. And I haven't actually had a sip of the coffee. Let's see how it tastes. Dang, dude. I think overall right now, what I can taste is a really clean cup. All right, even future Jimmy. I've been letting my coffee sit while I've cleaned up the whole area behind me. But as I've been letting it cool, obviously there's gonna be different flavors. So let's see. Holy cow. I'm not kidding, it's a totally different grinder. Okay, back to past Jimmy, who hasn't experienced this yet, so don't tell him. Okay, bye. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like, drop a comment, maybe subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.